stock market crash. My gosh, I better go to the bank. Like I said, we have no more money. <laughs> I'd like to refund my money, please. I'm sorry, sir, but we have no more money. This bank is going to close. What? I have $50,000 in this bank. I deposited my money last week. I demand that you give me my money at once. We're sorry, but you're just one of the millions that have lost their money. No! Dear family, I'm sorry, but we are bankrupt. I cannot handle this situation any longer. I am sorry, I can't help you. Goodbye. Love, Richmond. Jim, you have Bob? Come out here, I need to talk to you. I got some bad news for you. You're a good worker and all, but I just can't afford to keep you anymore. I wish you luck. I wait until we cut 10%. This is outrageous. Yeah, how can I feed my family now? And yeah, that's Mr. right. Mr. Green, for Tuesday. President Hoover has called for a conference for workers and unions tomorrow. They want you to be there. Okay, um, I accept. Tell them I'll be there. As you know, Mr. Green, President of the AFL, we are in an industrial depression. We ask that your unions do not go on strikes or else things might get worse. Okay, I pledge to not go on strike, but only on the condition that you do not cut wages. Okay, we are set. Deal or no deal? Sorry, I Mr. Green, there have been reports that about 60 corporations have cut wages up to 16%. Those darn employers. Well, we can't afford any strikes. Send officers to encourage the workers to accept the wage cuts. Hey guys, I will have to have a word with you. Sorry, but we have to accept these wage cuts. The economy is really bad right now, so we can't go on strike. Just hang on a bit longer, it will get better soon, I promise. Mr. Lewis, our wages have been cut over 16% and the United Mine Workers isn't doing anything. I'm leaving this union. Me too. Hey Bill, I heard there's this new agency called the National Recovery Administration and they're going to help us fix minimum wage and work hours. I wouldn't trust and fire you. Those government people can, are all the same. See, George, I told you the NRA is no good. I just went far for no good reason, except the fact that I joined a union. Yeah, we've been caught their heads between their legs. We can't trust the government agency to help us workers. We have to do the only thing that can stop this injustice. Strike. Strike. You, come here. I heard there's a strike at the mines in Western Pennsylvania. Cover it. Yes, sir. Miners' wives joined in the battle, taking the blows with the husband as the picket line extended over the far from territory. <laughs> One miner is killed in typical Pennsylvania steel trust fashion, shot down in cold blood while carrying the American flag at the head of the picket line. Several other miners are expected to die from wounds received. <laughs> 